I think it's important for the Pacific to make its voice heard and to be active in, in, in the international discourse on human rights. It can advance that discourse through, through its own cultures, practices and knowledges. It may be small, but uh, as members of the uh, human community, we, we, we are as significant as anywhere else, and we have views to express about these things. Of course, we were all celebrating uh, when the Samoan NHI was accredited uh, with a status. It was uh, just a very wonderful feeling. A status accreditation provides a national institution with legitimacy and credibility because the accreditation process is recognized by the UN as granting access to NHRIs to the UN system. It is important for society to develop to not only um, ratify international conventions pertaining to human rights, but to actually have an institution within their country to ensure that those rights are respected. The fact that Samoa has ratified the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities means that um, the Office of the Ombudsman then will be asked by NOLA and by the government of Samoa to assist when it comes to preparing um, reports. For me personally and also for the office, it's very important that when we write these reports, we have to make sure that you know um, we take into account everything because people are actually going to read this report. The bodies who actually read these reports actually write, we would like to read an HRS Samoa's report because they're A status and that you know having this status is um, helps also to push more and advocate for human rights in Samoa. I mean it's a very good mechanism to hold states to account especially if they sign up to all these international obligations. So in that sense they've been a great um, a mechanism for facilitating the connection between you know these international commitments that governments have made and the realities of how they actually manifest in country and because of the fact that they've been able to align human rights with FASA more so clearly, those definitions have also helped um, in-country practitioners in terms of being able to align um, human rights-based approaches in their work with um, the realities of when they go out to communities. Mm -hmm.